just pouring about the, about the last this afternoon. Um, just want to flip camera and we'll uh, have a walk around. So, got the flag up because I've got the hens out. Um, they flew for 45 minutes this morning. Uh, Babby's out in the aviary lot. There we go. Getting all the sun in. We'll walk over here. We've got some new uh, pigeon boxes here. We were given by a local fancier. Um, been retired for a few years now. I'm pigeon racing. This one is a four bird box. I've just got to get some new dividers in the middle there. To stuff out. That's my products I've just received off Colin this morning. Um, the 302 stress reliever and there's the other one. The 335 young bird sickness treatment. So uh, that'll be used on these young birds. Get them straight on it. Put them back in there. And close this one down. That's his little box. It's in team colours. Goes along with his dream team theme. The blue and white. And then this one. Let's flip it round. Oh. This one's a six bird box. There we go. Sort of in the same colour. It's got the blue mesh on it. So looking forward to using these coming racing. Close that down. Got a potter over here and uh, have a look at some stock birds because we've got obviously just getting ready to uh, obviously this is the end of our breeding for 2021. Um, most of these in here have got uh, are on chicks and stuff. Apart from we've got the top two pair up there that are on eggs. Um, so we'll just go in and have a look. So that's our bush out pair. Um, they have two eggs that are currently being sat on up here by this hen and her cock bird. Uh, just because that on their last last round that they had, um, he kind of went a little bit off his feet. Um, couldn't stand too well. He lost a bit of weight. So we thought no. They laid the, the second round and then went, right, they're not sitting them, we'll float them under somebody else. So obviously, that's our bush rat pair. But they're going to be split up this week, because obviously, like I say, we don't want to have any more, any more eggs. Right, so we'll go down here. All these birds are ready for cleaning out. Right, this here, these, these are not their chicks. These, again, these are floating, um, because these are chicks from... Uh, Belgian pigeon. Uh, there's one. Come on, little fat guy. Here we go. Are you up, little kid? Put them back in there. You're ready for a clean nest ball, you two. There we go. Put them back in. Hey, I'm not sure if I ever explained these clipboards to you, but it's just so that we can keep um, track of all our birds. And um, what happens is then once we've rung them, we write the ring numbers on there and everything so that um, obviously we can keep track as to where them birds have come from and who sat them and this and other. Now this one down here, this is a Van Reet cock that we bought in and this here is a staff Van Reet hen um, that we actually got from Mark Cordwell. Um, she is sister to go on the sit in the bush right eggs and we'll show you under here can I have a look under here my sweetheart good girl I put yours inside now not all three of these chicks are hers this little tiny one here at the back this little one here is actually that mealy hens um, but we'd already got her sitting on two eggs for us um, when she actually laid her own and so obviously we floated it under these but then she ended up laying her two eggs and so everything got all messed up but she's um, doing really well this one here and this one here are her two little babies and she's feeding them very well 
Yeah, so it's something we're keeping an eye on, keeping a close watch on, making sure that uh, all are getting fed and everything. Um, and she's doing absolutely amazing with them. So come here, sweetheart, let's put you back in. Careful, careful, good girl, good girl. That's it, you sort yourself out. Put you back up that corner. There we go. Right, so obviously, like I said, these were sat on two eggs for us from the cock bird that got us the first club last season. Because obviously we're splitting him up from his hen. Um, one, unfortunately, just before hatching, um, just stopped, just stopped growing and, and just started to dissolve inside the egg. Um, I, oh dear me, Claude. This is, again, this is the uh, brother to our other Belgian pigeon. Um, we've called him Claude and she's called Genevieve. So these are Claude and Genevieve Blancart because that's what they are, Blancart pigeons. I know, can I, I know, I know, girly, I know, I know. So this is his little baby here from, like I say, this is from our first club, um, cock bird from last season. So fingers crossed what we get here. Oh, this lovely pair here, this is uh, their little baby. That's what we got to off a local fancier. I'm hoping it's going to turn out to be a red. It's kind of got a red tinge in its skin and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll have a little red come out of that. Because Dad is a very beautiful red boy. I know. Um, this bird up here. Again, one that we were given. And we sat on. All right, baby. All right. They sat on there, two eggs. Oh, where's the other one gone? There they are, sat on their two eggs, and like I say, these two are sat on push our eggs. There we go, I know. <laughs> so these are our stock birds. Um, we'll point out, I didn't even notice it, I mean, we've had this bird now for about a year. I know, I know, can I just have a look at you, girly? This is our mealy hen that we were given from David Olberson. Good girl, come here. We've just realised, hang on, come here sweetheart. Right, come here, let me grab you. Just realised that she actually has feathers on her toes. Didn't notice that until about five minutes ago. <laughs> She's just got some feathers on her toes here and stuff, so that's something new. But, um, not sure she's always had them. But yeah, these are our stock birds here. Um, we do have this pair over here. These were put together as a trial. Uh, she's a young hen that we got from Phil Masters. And that red, that mealy cock bird up there, that is actually um, the cock bird to uh, the... The, the cock bird that we got first club with last season. Um, so we've put them together just as a trial pair, so we'll see how they go. Right, so I'm just gonna go and open up the hen's door. Um, they've done, I try and make sure they have at least 40 minutes every day. So I'm just gonna open up their door. Um, there they are over there. Just flying over there, look. So I'm gonna go and take the flag down for them um, and then if they want to come down we can as I say they've done the time just bearing me two seconds while I there we go so just take them that down so they can come down if they want to um, I'm not quite sure where they've gone. Before they've gone off again. They tend to do this, that when I uh, take the flag down, they go, actually, we want to go off again. But there's the babies over there, look, sunning it up. So hopefully, once these hens come down, we'll have got birds out and babies out. But I just thought, it's a lovely day. Why don't I just do a little bit of a video, potting around the loft. That's his little tree in the middle of the grass. <laughs> we keep thinking about seeding the grass when the birds will just eat it. But all I have to point out as well, this loft's finally been painted all the way across. It's going to need um, a few repairs on the front of it. But 
At least it's finally painted. And that one obviously Sonny is doing. But this is it all the way around. All painted. Oh, looks like the hens are going to try and come in. Just there. Wait for them to come back round. Here they are. No, not quite yet. Go on, girls. So when they look like more like they're gonna land, I'll uh, I'll get back to you, just so that um, you're not kept lingering looking at empty air. <laughs> That's it. Most of the hens have come down. Two have decided to go back off. They've been flying for an hour and ten. Just wait for these two to uh, come down. Come on, ladies. I say that I took the flag down uh, and opened their door after they've done 40 minutes um, just because I like to try and make sure oh we've just had a hawk go past so the girls have gone back up so how long it is before I get them back in again I do not know bloody hawks Gonna land in the trees just over there, so I'll be keeping an eye on those birds for a guess of dancing. We don't usually get them round here because we normally have crows up in the tops of these trees over here, but for some reason they're not here this afternoon, and so obviously hawks clearly saw that as an advantage to come and uh, have a fly around, see if it can get anything. So I do think I have got some of the girls in. Just have a look, as, see if I've got anybody in. Well, I've got a few of them in. Uh, but uh, seven of them in out of 12. So hopefully we'll just wait for those to come back down. I'm about to show you them all once they're in. This red bird here is the hen to the little red uh, young bird in that room. Right, so thankfully, managed to get all those of the hens that flew back up after they saw the sparrowhawk back in. Uh, they flew for another 20 minutes. Um, but obviously after seeing that, uh, that hawk, we decided not to obviously have the young birds out because obviously it took too, too long for the hens to come down and everything. So obviously, uh, they've got to be shut up soon because uh, it's on darkness. Um, and put all the hens into their individual boxes because we put them into there to feed them. Uh, but we are just going to go and let the cotton birds out. So, uh, thankfully, the hens were okay. Um, the crows did return. They nest in the little in the radio tower thing over there. Um, so they did return, and one of them did sit in the tree at the top. Let me just zoom back out in the tree in the top over there. Um, after it saw the, the hawk about. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go and let these cock birds out. There we go. So that's the cock birds up. Hopefully they'll fly well and not have anything too eventful.